You know, being a child of the 60s, I wonder whatever happened to slot cars. Do you remember them? Remember playing? Slot cars were set up, uh, or slot car sets were super cool, and they were a heck of a lot of fun. Uh, I grew up in the 1960s, and my older brother had a slot car set, and when I got a little older, I had one. And I remember there being shops where you could take your favorite car and race it against other kids' cars. And I don't know if they are even sold anymore. Kids have, I guess, become more sophisticated with electronic games, which simulate actually being in the driver's seat. The first slot cars were introduced by Aurora Plastics Company in 1960, and they came with slotted tracks that kept the car on the road as cars had a small peg under the car's nose, which fit into the slot tracks, and then there was like a bushing on each side that connected to uh, uh, metal on each side of the track which connected to the transformer, which connected to the electricity, which uh, <clears throat> operated the slot car set. Cars cost only around like maybe three to eight dollars each and on an entire racing set could be had for under forty dollars. In scale the cars went up to a whopping 600 miles per hour and being that the driver was in continuous control of their car speed the cars were more of a challenge. I remember my brothers flying off the track more than once and hitting me and that hurt. <laughs> it really did. But uh, the cars were, always, were really a challenge. And perhaps most importantly, they were just plain fun. Though mine often, like my brothers, went flying off the track, especially on the curves. There was a pinball arcade here in Saginaw that also had a multi-level slot car setup. And it was awesome. I think it was over on the west side of Saginaw. Some people got so caught up that they spent upwards, believe it or not, of $1,500. Uh, to build elaborate speedways at home. Um, in 1963, Americans spent more than $100 million on slot cars and tracks. And by 1965, more than three and a half million Americans were racing slot cars on a regular basis. It was, it was a phenomenal fad. And I don't know why, but the fad was fairly short-lived. In 1967, sales dropped dramatically and they just, they never recovered. Um, the set I had was about average, but my dad bought a a Corvair car for me, uh, mostly because he loved the rear engine Corvair in, in actuality. But it was a neat, a neat little slot car, cream color. I really think most of dads uh, enjoyed the slot car racing as much as we boys did. Well, I hope this brought back some memories for you. And thanks for stopping by. Please be sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any new programs here on my favorite channel, the Dennis Morrison channel. God bless and have a great day.